operators proceed to the terminal account abort contingency procedure in section 10.59. Attention all personnel, stand by to pick up the count. T minus 10 minutes and counting on my mark. Three, two, one, mark. BC announce the auto sequence has started. Dragon terminal count and F9 terminal count have both continued. RCO confirm the clock is counting. Water daily GCBC setting up. standby on FireX. Standing by. RCO confirm the clock is counting. Clock is counting. OSM set launch and able to flight. Switching to flight. Pre-valves are coming open. Ox bleeds are open. We are now chilling in the engines. Prop confirms all pre-valves open. T minus nine minutes. Next event, Dragon goes to internal power at T minus eight minutes. T minus eight minutes. T minus seven minutes. The next major command will be to direct the flight computer to begin its final alignment. That occurs at T minus six minutes, 17 seconds. Vehicles in self alignment. T minus six minutes.
stage 2 TVC bleed has started. The T minus 5 minutes. Stage one and stage two are going on internal power. Telemetry. We're on internal power on stage one and stage two. Telemetry and video transmitters now being turned on. Vehicle release auto sequence is starting. T minus four minutes. The uh, Crown TTEB system setting up. Vapors from the uh, cryogenics uh, surrounding the uh, base area of the launch pad. FTS on internal power. S2 TVC motion complete. About to terminate locks topping. Prevalves are coming closed. T minus three minutes. Lux load is ending nominally. FTS verify FTS is armed. FTS is armed. SpaceX launch director Brian Mosdell is about to give stage, his status. First and second stage fuel trim are in their flight positions. LD verify go for launch. LD is go for launch. Next, we'll have a go from the range. Stage 2 heaters is ending nominally. Rock, verify range go. Range green. Uh, T minus. Prevails are coming open for one last engine chill. Helium load has ended nominally. And at T minus one minute, the flight computer will be commanded to the startup state. Prevails are open. First stage engines are chilled in. Vehicles in idle auto. T minus one minute. Vehicles in startup. First and second stages are pressing. First stage TVC motion looks good. T minus 30 seconds. Standing by now for taking the tanks to flight pressure and activating the pad deluge water system. T, T minus 20 seconds. 20 seconds. The main engine controller commands will 
give the command to start the engine sequence at T minus 3 seconds. We're at T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, and lift off. We've had a cutoff. Liftoff did not occur. We've had a launch Proceed abort. Thermal launch abort. We've had a launch abort you see abort standing the by. Sequence have not already aborted. We did not, flight computers are not start up. We did not get uh, confirmation from the first motion sensor that liftoff occurred. You see verified vehicle is flight computer is not in startup. Flight computer is not in startup. Flight computer GCB is GCB not in startup. If fire present at the launch mount. Copy. OSM verify you're ready to save the FTS. OSM verify ready to save the FTS. Copy. Right now the vehicle is being saved. The ignition sequence had started, but uh, there was a cutoff. BC, verify all computers are in manual mode. It's verified. BC, close the engine pre-valves and open the aux bleeds. Pre-valves are closed, aux bleeds are open. BC, verify S2 internal, S1 internal aborted. That's confirmed. AVI, verify vehicle power is nominal. Vehicle power is nominal. OSM, set launch enable to inhibit. Switch into inhibit. BC, perform the following steps to get TPC back to manual mode. Set S2 TPC mode to manual and open the S2 fuel vent valve. Setting stage 2 TPC to manual, opening up fuel vent. Prop, report when ready to vent the S2 LOX tank. Prop's ready. DC, open the S2 LOX tank vent. Stage 2 LOX tank vent coming open. BC, set S1 TPC mode to manual and open S1 fuel vent valve. S1 TPC going to manual, fuel vent coming open. Prop, report when ready to vent the S1 LOX tank. Prop's ready. VC, open the S1 locks tank vent S1 valve. S1 locks tank vent valve coming open. VC, verify close the S1 flight ox fill and drain and the S2 flight ox fill and drain. It's verified. DC, verify Dragon has aborted and is in a stable configuration. Verified. GC, verify the fill manifolds are vented, S1 and S2 locks interface, and S1 and S2 RP interface. Verified. GC, verify water and deluge. Ring press valve secured by terminal count port auto sequence. Secured. GC verify the TVC tank is vented. <laughs> TVC tank is vented. GC verify TTAP secured by terminal count port auto sequence and complete the following. That's in work. GS verify data hourly rollover is enabled. Confirmed. AVI determine the need to initiate battery charge sequences. We do not need to charge. VC. Take a not perform in step 59.20, battery charging not required. AVI instruct VC to cycle power on transmitters to keep the temperatures within launch limits. Copy. The VC. International Space Station crew has been advised that uh, there was a cutoff in the launch sequence and uh, liftoff did not occur. 23. Roger, verifying nominal FTS state. Copy. Safe and arms are in a state, the safe state. Ordnance interrupters are in the safe state. FTS is on external power, and FTS state is nominal. Is that correct, OSM? Roger. LD, the vehicle is safe. LD copies. As reported by flight software, we had an abort on engine 5 chamber pressure high. LC, please continue to proceed through scrub securing. Copy. That's in work. Okay, proceeding to section 10.62. OSM, reestablish roadblocks at the BDA. In, in work. GC, disable the vehicle fill and drain interlock controls. In work. Complete. 